Dr. Sightshaw, when it happens, parents don't have to be carriers, but it's, mu it's mutation that causes specific facial features, some children to have mobility, feeding problems, bowel problems. Affects their eyes, they get a lot of hair on the arm and the elbow, uh, short stature, basically fat feet and hands. The reason behind setting up it is to raise awareness. Um, I put together the UK gathering last year, the first one, and it was to help Georgia. Georgia was diagnosed with um, autism four years ago and it was, it was, when we got the diagnosis, I was like, right, okay, I need to support my child the best way I can. The best way of doing that was j just getting as much information on the internet, going out, buying child-friendly books that, sh that were bright, that she could read and understand. When we got the diagnosis of um, Wiedemann Steiner syndrome, there's nothing. The things you find on the internet are just too medical for, for parents. And I kind of thought, I can't just sit back and watch my daughter not have answers to the questions that she keeps asking me. So I just started researching it. From the age of when Bethany was about two, we sort of knew there was something not quite right. And then gradually over time, and when she started um, nursery with the peers and things, she just couldn't interact. We started infant school and that was basically, um, she couldn't keep up with the other children, um, she was quite behind. There's 300 worldwide that we know of at the minute um, and it's just so important for us to get, to get it, the awareness out there because people look at the children if they're having a bad day, naughty child, they're not naughty, that's just how they are and at the end of the day as a parent we want people to know. We want to get the families together so that they don't feel like they have to plan a day out. In the UK, we don't, we don't want to, to do research. We want to make these kids have regular days out, regular meetups. You know, a lot of it is down to cost and we don't want to, you know, we don't want families to think they have to pay all the time. You know, we could raise money to get equipment for Sunday, you know, um, wheelchair, things like that, clothing range. It's about wearing t-shirts, wearing it with pride, that kind of thing. Um, and then we look forward to making, obviously, more um, awareness by having more events and, do, and doing it for the kids. And, and also, in one way as well, doing it for the parents because it is hard, it's hard, and especially there's, there's still a lot of prejudice out there and an ignorance and um, you still get the stares, you still get the looks and, and to me it's like an invisible disability. Mm -hmm.